Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here, and welcome back to episode 72 of The Road to 10,000. <sighs> How are you guys doing? This is an interesting lobby. We got Meatball, we got some Japanese people who like backspamming at the line. And uh, we got some friends. Unfortunately, we are unable to, uh, we weren't able to get some Mount Wario action going on. But we were able to get some DK jungle. And, uh, yeah, I'm, like I've mentioned, I'm not gonna mention anymore the episodes that were... I had some interesting things to talk about in them, and uh, I'm trying to avoid just repeating the same things over and over. Uh, I just got the super bounce there, in case you're wondering how I just flew past everyone. They apparently did not. But, I don't know, man, it's just... I had things to talk about, it seemed, the entire time last time, and... Uh, whoa, okay, I'll just hold, thank you. <laughs> a little bit of a fail on the old glider. And, uh, I don't know, I guess we're just gonna have to find things to talk about this time mentioned that the Jades won and I'm still feeling good. Feeling great in fact. A good day for Canada and therefore the world. As is tradition. As uh, we have a decent lead here. I'm not exactly competent at DK Jungle. In fact I think my time trial for the track is still probably rocking at a nice solid like 218 when the world record's at like 158. I don't think I've time trialed this track since I got the game. Um, I just see no need to. I've gotten better at it by playing Worldwides, and I just don't enjoy really playing it, I suppose you could say. So, uh, like, I know what to do on these boost panels. It's just difficult to do. And, uh, like I said, I've never had enough practice to actually get it down, and I've never cared enough to actually go in and put in the practice, so... Uh, one thing I guess I could mention, because I know I did talk about it last time, and I suppose if I don't talk about it, you won't hear it. Uh, I was racing the other day with some friends in just kind of like a fun lobby. And uh, I I always, like, you know, I've mentioned it before, that the Blue Falcon has a higher air speed than the Pipe Ring. Which, ba which means, in layman's terms, if you are traveling through the air, aka on a glider, and you're in the Blue Falcon, you will be traveling significantly faster than someone on the pipe ring. I didn't realize until the other day just how significant that stat was. Yo, I wish this Japanese person could stop passing me right at the fucking lap 3 after a blue shell. That's really lame. As I'm about to get reddit, I believe. No? Maybe not? As I'm gonna go tight. I'm not gonna go tight because the ink... Man. Anyone else want to try to pass me the line? Didn't think so. I'm settled with third. I don't want a red chum chow out of a good place. So. There we go. A little bit disappointing. I finished the race with one coin, but third place is better than a poke in the eye with a sharp stick. So, uh, yeah, okay. Um, this, this came from a rainbow road. Uh, this realization came from a rainbow road, and that's why I ended up talking about it last time. But it was actually on DK Jungle. I was racing with a couple friends, and... Uh, me and him, he was in Pipe Frame, and I was in Blue Falcon. It was lap 3, both had 10 coins. We both tricked over the glider, and I didn't realize how much the airspeed affected your speed. I blew past him. Like, it was no content. It was as if I got, like, a mushroom boost in the air. I- it was just phenomenal. I'm like, did I draft you? No, that was just the Blue Falcon being ridiculous. Like... I don't know, man. It, it, I beat him to the ground by like two or three seconds, and we landed in the same spot. So like, it just—I don't know, man. I don't know. Maybe I did get a draft. I didn't even notice it. But uh, the Blue Falcon speed is definitely significant. The air speed wise, um, it's kind of ridiculous. Same with uh, anti grab as well. Uh, if you've never noticed it uh, against a ghost, it will just gain like crazy on anti grab. So uh, shout out to Nintendo for making a balanced game. I would love a uh, Electro Drone because I actually kicked ass. Uh, it's one of the last tracks that we played during the Lost episodes, but we're unable to play since. And uh, would you look at that? Nintendo's just making the world right for me right now. Fantastic. <sighs> Man, it feels uh, it feels good to kind of put back mediocre narrations. To be completely honest, so far these the the la the two episodes, 71 and this so much of 72 so far, have both been pretty bad. And uh, I apologize for that. I really do. I, I wanted them to be good. And I did the exact same thing my first time I played this track today. Uh, 
it's really weird drifting in this game in a glider. If you're in a glider and you start to you start your drift early, it's literally you might as well be pressing a button that says I don't know what's going to happen to me when I hit the ground. And uh, I wish it wasn't the case, but it really is kind of a shit show. Also, fuck this Morton who bumped me like three times and ruined my line. Also, fuck that random fireball. Hello? Like, what was that all about? Also, I pulled a green shell in fifth, which is a little upsetting, but uh, we can all get over it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that chomper came pretty close. As uh, this Bowser came pretty close. I'd love it if you threw that, thank you, because now I can snipe you. Oh, uh, where's my smart bounce? Where's my smart bounce? Lame. I just want him to throw one fireball, because as soon as he throws one, he won't be able to throw the rest. Oh no! I was trying to avoid coming this way for that exact reason. Also because of the fact that it's slower, but more so for the fact that... Fuck, man. It's fine. I'll keep my, uh... I'll keep my two shrooms. As I should be able to do the cut here pretty convincingly, I just want some, uh, coins. So I went wide there literally because the Morton on the bike was also there. I just got a glitch glider on that glider. Cool. I didn't- I mean I know it's possible, but I never thought I'd do it. Huh. Neato. Yeah, fuck you dude. Here, have one of those. Can I get my item? Do -do 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 -do. As long as there's no shock, I should have this raise. Oh, baby. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought the guy in first was to my left, but unfortunately, he's already, like, way over the line. Anyway, uh, there's a nice, solid second place. Fuck you, Bowser on the bike with golden wheels. Get out of here. You need to be rocking some viable stuff. None of this bullshit. As uh, seven minutes in, have time for two more races, I suppose. I turned off the DLC as well. Um, getting back to that uh, spreadsheet that Utterback made, uh, I noticed that some of the track titles that were coming up very lesser, I suppose, is not the word I was looking for there at all, but whatever, um, included like Grumble Volcano at two, Wario Stadium at zero, uh, but then there was ridiculous stuff like Baby Park at 15, Cheese Land at 14. Nobody wants to see that. So I turned off the DLC. It'll probably stay off till about 10,000, to be honest. Uh, I feel like it's time to explore the the tracks that you guys haven't seen yet. It's been 72 episodes, and there's actually two tracks that have just never been played. What? <sighs> anyway, um, looks like we got a random, and we actually. Ah! Ah! Mom! Mom! Get the camera! Alright, so this is one of the tracks we've only played one time, I believe. Uh, it's a really fun track. It's a difficult track, but I'm up for the challenge. I really like it. I used to be terrible at it. I believe we played it in, like, episode 2. I know it was in the thumbnail for, like, episode 2. Or episode 3. One of the two. But have we really not played it since? That's ridiculous. Uh, I'd love to get the soft drift here and just blow past this guy. As unfortunately, I miss it and, uh... His terrible driving is going to allow him to remain in front of me. I wonder how long that's going to remain for as uh, I just blow past him with a nice draft arena. And uh, that should be the end unless I fail, which I just did. <laughs> okay, this is like a Diogo caliber D-pad run of this track. I cannot do this to myself. Drift into that. Trick, jump, and bop, boop, beep out of my face. Can I get these coins? They're really tricky to get, and one is better than none. And uh, the music here is awesome. I believe I mentioned that the first time we raced here, but it seriously is. Uh, I'd love to get the soft drift down before that ink takes effect, which is exactly what happened. Um, I knew that the ink was going to send me off the road there because ink is ink again. Fuck. Oh. The random sudden change in traction, the drastic change in traction from holy shit slippery to not slippery at all. Uh, kind of set me off the track there. As there's a boosted trick and a half. Hop, slide, trick, done. Boom, baby. God, this track's fun. I love it because of that anti-grab section. If you can pull it off at a high level, God, is it fun to watch. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Get ready. 
to get taken to Hopsville. Welcome to Mario Kart 8. If you can't hop, you can't compete. I'm sorry. Do, 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 do. Fuck this goddamn ink. Oh my goodness. It's the most broken item in the damn game, man. It really sucks. They made it from a joke in Mario Kart Wii and they turned it into like a deadly fucking ketchup item. And there's a boost. Oh my god. I love the anti-grab section because you can just get such a nice lead over people who can't do it perfectly. And by perfectly, I by no means said I just did it perfectly there. Or by no means clean. As, uh, look at that. Beauty! Yahoo! Yeah! I love Morton. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, god. There's a nice solid plus 20, as we're only 250 away, guys. So we have one race left in this episode. I kind of want to find a new lobby just for the end of this episode, because seven people's underwhelming. And, uh,. I'm, I'm used to the whole big 12 parties, but I believe, oh, can we end this on a Wario Stadium? Please. All I ask is please. I'll throw some good, oh, baby, we have such a high chance. Wario Stadium, let me tell you what I told you in the last recording. It has two possible outcomes for me. I either kill it, and I front run it, and it looks as though it's my most practiced track, and nobody else can even compete. Or... I fail, slash get hit by an item, fall into the pack, and never catch up because it has zero shortcuts, and it is very narrow, and I would love to see it, and we're gonna get it! Yes! Guys, this is the first time we're playing Wario Stadium, oh my goodness, it's from the DS, and they changed a lot, and I'm really excited to bring you Wario Stadium for the first time in this fucking Road to 10, episode 72, the last race of 72. Uh, this is the only, no, that's a lie. This is one of two tracks in Mario Kart 8 where a bike has ever held a world record. This track, a bike held the world record really early on and also on, uh, also on Toad's Turnpike of all places. Uh, so there's a weird strat you can do with these uh, zip panels right here and drifting off the second and fourth one, you can get a really random low ground. Um, I hate people that aren't as good as me at this game. Damn. Uh, if you wonder why I suddenly caught up to that guy so much, to the point where I landed on him, it's because this is the track where boosted tricking just broke the game. Um, as you saw there, if you drift off of a boost panel, and drift onto another one, and stack a mini turbo boost with the two boosts, it gets out of control very quickly, and um... You know how I was mentioning there are two options? Option two happened, guys. It's really upsetting because I am actually quite capable of front-running this track. But, uh, it's not gonna happen. So, maybe some other time you will see Wario Stadium and you will see me actually do well. But yeah, you can get random low ground on those and it speeds you up a tremendous amount. And, uh, it's very weird, but... So is a lot of things in this game. Razzery, if you fireball me, I am swear to god, I'm unsubscribing. Okay! Alright, so right here, if you drift off that, and drift onto that, like, you just get popped forward! You saw that, I missed a boost panel, and I just popped in front of the guy. I failed, but, oh, once you master the art of boosted tricking, this track becomes your heaven. Because you can just pass people at will, pretty much. Also, there's a, a strat on the first corner there, to do four hops, but it's really difficult. Basically, what you want to do on that glider, or that glider that ramp is drift a little bit and then trick. You don't want to trick on any of those, by the way. Uh, you don't want to drift to the right there. Well, there goes my race. I never said ramp drifting wasn't a risky strat, I just said it makes you go faster. <laughs> uh, at least that stupid Japanese fucker in the uh, Prancer is going down with me. So. Oh, go. Come on, kick it. Kick that golden. Go, 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 go! Ah! Damn! Oh, if I sniped fourth because he was on a bike, I would have been so happy. Um, unfortunately, I, I only end up with a plus six, and we're literally 251 points away from our goal, guys. I hope you enjoyed these last two episodes. I apologize dearly for A, the lackluster commentary in the past two episodes. Literally, I had possibly the best commentary of my entire life going for me in the failed recording. 
and I just couldn't live up to the pressure. I, I buckled and I tried to repeat it and like I said, you never want to do a second take. Always first take. First takes are the best takes and I should have just rolled with it. Unfortunately, I tried to cover the two t the same topics too similarly and uh, the commentary it was very lackluster and I, f I feel that it was very lackluster at the very least. Um, so I apologize for that and I also apologize just in general for um, referencing the lost episode so much because I feel like it would have gotten really annoying because you can't see any of them and there's really no point for me to rub it in your face that man I recorded these perfect episodes that you'll never get to see so uh, for that I will throw in a bonus race here of Shy Guy Falls because it's such a fun track and I think I got pole position no like hello I came fifth <laughs> I think I got pole position just assuming you know um, starting hops are slower on this track. I know I touched on it last episode, a couple of the techs, but, um, well, I guess we're starting from a nice, uh, dead last. Um, starting hops are slower, um, obviously on the next two laps when you are going through, it's faster to hop there, just for some reason it's not faster to do starting hops there. But once again, what a weird game we play, right? Anyway, um... I'm just gonna shroom up because it'll copy the shroom boost or stack the shroom boost is the word I'm looking for. As uh, there we go. Now I'm playing like a true professional, right, guys? You just gotta ruin races. When you see that guy who you know is a decent player in front of you and you have an air horn, no fucking mercy. No Canadianness about this game. You need to be ruthless, and uh, that ruthlessness has gotten me into fourth place of the chomper. And by fourth, I mean I literally just ate a toad. And uh, I am now in third and closing in, and I able to chain the item into a banana to protect myself because you all know, even though I passed the guy, that was still gonna go for me. As uh, there we go, as you see, holding your mini turbo for longer there is in fact very beneficial because what it allows you to do is boost stack with the boost ramp, and that pushed me in front of the guy. And uh, understanding how this game works has given me quite a lead. All of a sudden, just racing. No items needed. Just better racing. Right? What a concept. What a concept. The best racer is in first. <sighs> so yeah, obviously right here, like I said, it's faster to hop and slide there. It's just on the starting boost. Uh, Rainbow Road 64 is another one like that. For some reason. Um, it's just slower to these starting hops. Nobody knows why. And that uh, on this track, it's just not faster. It's not slower, it doesn't slow you down, it's just not faster. On Rainbow Road 64, it actually slows you down to do starting hops, which goes up against everything I've ever learned in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> Hop to go faster, except in this position, where it will literally make you go slower. What? what? It's fine, look at our lead! Oh, honey. Oh, baby. Can he finish it off in style, though? You bet your ass he can. And the soft drift, and the hops... Oh, hot diggity damn. That is a race for the ages. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Like I said, you thought I was ending it when I started being all saffy last time, but nope. That, that, that is for real, the last episode, or last race. As, uh, oh, look at that. 777, we hit the jackpot. Woo! Okay, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the very next one. Bye now.